policy options facing the MPC at this meeting is a decision between retention of the current stance of monetary policy or a slight loosening at the policy rate backed by the substantial stability of the major macroeconomic indicators. Committee felt that given the relative stability in the key macroeconomic variables, there is a need to signal a new direction, and in which case we're talking about being pro-growth. In its argument, the committee was convinced that doing this would further uphold the bank's commitment to promoting strong growth by way of encouraging credit flow to the productive sectors of the economy. The MPC also felt that signaling through loosening by a marginal rate would serve to manage the sentiments in the capital flow market owing to the wider spread in yields in the emerging market and developing economies relative to the advanced economies. Moreover, the real interest rates will still remain positive. Committee's decision. In the light of the above, the MPC decided by a vote of six out of 11 members to reduce the monetary policy rate by 50 basis points, that is 0.5%. Two members voted to reduce the monetary policy rate by 0.25%, by 0.25%, 25 basis points, while one member voted to reduce it by 100 basis points, which is 1%. Two members, however, voted to hold MPR at its current level. Ten members voted to hold all other parameters constant, while a member voted to reduce the cash reserve ratio by 100 basis points from 22.5 to 21.5. In summary, the MPC voted to, one, adjust the MPR by 50 basis points from 14 to 13.5 percent. Two, retain the asymmetric corridor of plus 200 and minus 500 basis points around the MPR. Three, retain the CRR at 22.5 percent and four, retain the liquidity ratio at 30 percent. I thank you all for listening.